There have been a lot of studies on how the sauna can improve your sleep, but I thought it would be interesting to test this out for myself and find out if I was able to detect any sort of difference with my sleep after using the sauna. What I found was actually pretty interesting and I wanted to share it with you today in this video. So to conduct my experiment, I used my Apple Watch, and while I realize that this isn't the most scientific method there is for collecting this kind of data, it's all I have, so it's what I used. I ended up seeing some very interesting and repeatable results though, so I think it does have some value. So here's how I conducted this experiment. I used my infrared sauna every other day about two hours before bed. The sauna session would last anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes long. I would cool off at room temperature for about an hour, and then I'd take a shower, I'd relax for another hour, and then I'd go to sleep. On the nights that I didn't use the sauna, I just took a shower about an hour before bed, I relaxed, and then I went to sleep. The first thing I noticed was that I fell asleep so much faster on the days that I had used the sauna. From the time that I turned off the light, I was usually asleep within two minutes. On the nights where I didn't use the sauna, it generally took me anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes before I would fall asleep. My body certainly felt like it was much more relaxed on the nights that I used the sauna. So after a month of collecting my sleep data, here's what I found. On the nights that I used the sauna before bed, I had significantly more REM sleep than I did on the nights where I didn't use the sauna. I often found that the next morning I had much better dream recollection as well. On average, I had 22 and a half minutes more of REM sleep on the nights that I used the sauna than I did on the nights where I didn't use it. A few years ago, I tested several sleep aids that included lavender essential oil, CBD oil, melatonin supplements, and even a hot tub. And the sauna improved my REM sleep over all of those things. The sauna has by far been the number one thing that I have found to improve my REM sleep. An interesting thing that I discovered through this experiment is that the sauna has been shown to drastically reduce the chances of somebody getting Alzheimer's or dementia. And one of the leading predictors of someone developing Alzheimer's or dementia is a reduced REM sleep cycle. So it's my hypothesis that the heat stress must stimulate the brain in a way that increases your REM sleep cycle. The night that I got the least amount of REM sleep after using the sauna was still better than the night where I got the highest REM sleep without using the sauna, so I found that data point to be kind of interesting. The amount of sleep I got after using the sauna was also slightly better than the nights where I didn't use the sauna, which I assumed was due to the fact that I seemed to fall asleep much faster on the nights that I used the sauna. The amount of core sleep and deep sleep I got on the nights where I used the sauna was actually slightly less than I got on the nights where I didn't use it, and I suppose that was because I was just getting so much more REM sleep. Overall though, it was pretty comparable and it wasn't too much of a difference. From some of the information I read, your body seems to adjust how much deep sleep you need based on how much repair the body needs. I speculated that since I had been using the sauna and it had increased my blood flow throughout my entire body that perhaps my body didn't need as much repair those days. That's just speculation on my part though. So that's how sauna affected my sleep. I found it to be a bit interesting and hopefully you did as well. That's all I have for you in this video. I want to say thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next.